Hey YouTube, Nick here. This is my Benelli Nova tactical model, the 18 and a half inch barrel. Just kind of want to show it to you. I bought it used a little under a year ago. I just want to give you a little a few pros and cons about it. Um, overall, it's been a really nice system for me. It's been reliable. I've even went hunting with it, bagged a couple pheasants. Um, it does allow you to change the choke tubes um, to your desire. One thing about it compared to your, you know, your Mossberg 500, Remington 870 is that this um, is uh, the receiver and stock are one piece um, made out of polymer and that makes it to be a little lighter weight but at the same time it's, it's uh, for me it's a con because um, it doesn't allow you to add um, aftermarket parts like you know really nice stocks with pistol grips or anything like that um, it's just one piece you, it, you can't really do much with it um, the magazine tube only holds four shells which is a drawback um, Benelli does make a two shot extension that costs quite a bit of money um, for that reason I haven't gotten that otherwise it cycles fine I've ran multiple different um, loads in it by the way it's a three and a half inch chamber um, and, and it cycled everything just fine um, the triggers on it is pretty nice and crisp um, gosh I don't know how much probably around five five pound trigger pull I would I would think I'll have to look that up um, and like I said, it, it's uh, the barrel's threaded, so you can put um, different chokes in there. Um, other than that, I'll get to the uh, disassembly. Disassembly, fairly straightforward. Let's do a quick safety check. It is indeed empty. Now, take off the barrel. Just unscrew this here. Get that down. the barrel comes off just like that. Set that aside. The rest of it, you just push in these two pins here. Uh, these pins are different sizes. The bigger one goes in the back. Okay, pull out the trigger group. I haven't cleaned it yet, but this always stays fairly clean. Now I can take everything else out. For this, to take out the bolt, you slide it back, Oops. and you squeeze the front of the bolt face here. Put your thumb on the back, squeeze it, and it pulls out. And then you can take off the handguard. And that is a complete field strip. Putting it back together is a little more tricky, especially with these things here. Put that back. can take the firing pin out um, if you wish. All you need to do is pop out these roll pins and it'll come out this one here. There we go. 
Put that back in. Now, I have to line up these notches, so I just usually slide it back. back in, small one in front, big one in back, big one. Barrel back on. That's it. That's a complete field strip and assembly. You know, one thing I forgot to mention is this little button here. And from what I understand is that um, Benelli designed this for, let's say, uh, you got all buckshot loaded up in this magazine here and you want to switch to uh, slog or something else. Um, what you do is, when you're pumping this back, you push this in, and it locks this. It keeps it from uh, a shell from loading from the magazine into the chamber. And so that way you can just load up one directly into the chamber. That's what that's for. Um, is it practical? I don't know. For me, it's not very practical, but... Um, some might disagree. That's just my opinion. Um, like I said, overall, it's, uh, it's been a great shotgun. It's been reliable. It is very lightweight. Um, the biggest downfall for me is that the receiver is made out of plastic. And it's connected to the stock. It's one piece. Um, so I guess you have to give and take, but, um, you know, I got a good deal on this. So I'm very happy. So thanks for watching guys.